after suffering serious damage from Hurricane Ivan, Orange Beach, Alabama is being completely rebuilt, and a New Orleans company is leading the effort. Bill Capo got an up-close look at the process. Five months after Hurricane Ivan, Alabama's Gulf Coast is a busy place, bustling with cleanup and construction crews. The Tourist Commission reports nearly half of the hotel rooms and condominiums have reopened 65% of the restaurants. But the damage still visible is a shock for the snowbirds, as winter tourists from northern states are known. Oh, this has been terrible. We never believed it was this bad, you know. We saw on the Internet a lot of pictures, but uh, it doesn't tell the true story. There's always so, so many things to do down here, no matter if you uh, even come down and just watch the restoration. It's just wonderful what they're doing out there. We don't have an elevator yet, but that's okay. We can always use the exercise. <laughs> But this is what Orange Beach officials call one of the most important projects, restoring the beach from the Florida state line to the western side of Gulf Shores. A huge job just started by the New Orleans branch of international dredging specialist, Bean Stuyvesant. It's about three times what we would normally see in a beach restoration project. It's a total of about uh, 22 to 23 million dollars. It consists of six million cubic yards being placed over 16 miles of beach. A dredge offshore is digging up sand that's sitting on the bottom 25 to 40 feet underwater and piping it to the beach under high pressure. There, the mix of water and sand pours out, and as the water drains away, 400 feet of new beach is formed every day. Well, we run a 24-hour-a-day operation. Um, probably have a 60-man staff here and try to get as much as we can, can done in, in a day's time. Let's say approximately 40,000 cubic yards a day, which uh, 10 yards per dump truck, about 4,000 dump truck loads a day. The project will significantly widen the beach, designed to provide extra protection from future hurricanes. The water line will be approximately 200 feet further seaward than what it was before, and the average elevation of the beach would be about five feet higher than it was before. We just it had no buffer, we had no beach in a lot of places. so. You know, we could withstand a 20-year storm, I think, you know, with this, with this type of volume that we're putting back. For those of you who are planning summer vacations, here's the timeline for the project. They expect to have the work done through the Orange Beach area all the way to Gulf State Park by the end of May. And then they'll work through the beaches in Gulf Shores through August when the project wraps up. And they say you will find the new beach loaded with seashells for souvenirs. From Orange Beach, Alabama, with photographer Terry Jones, I'm Bill Capo, Eyewitness News, Nightwatch. And project managers expect to rebuild the beach at the rate of three to four miles a month through the completion of the project in August.